I couldn't handle the implications when I was 20 because I associated it with my identity and I had given that, I, that capability of creating that identity to a robot. My name is Bob Zakaitis. I'm a sculptor. I've been living in Arizona for the last six years. Uh, what we're doing here is we are using a Roomba vacuum cleaner to create a painting. Um, and so this is a project I came up with in 2005 and really solidified in 2006. Um, so now it's a decade later and we're re-examining sort of the implications of what it means to have a commercially available product to create a painting. The project uh, started with an assignment in a painting class and it was meant to be, be a self-portrait. Um, as opposed to trying to copy myself and paint, I came up with the idea of what if this was representative of a generation that grew up um, on the cusp of the internet growing up as well. So this is an original generation Roomba vacuum cleaner. Um, without its vacuum system, totally took all that out. Um, and what I've done is created this paintbrush, where we've got a foam um, brush and a reservoir, so it really acts like those like giant magic markers. So the first iteration, I'd gotten a small grant to buy a couple of Roombas, buy the canvas, um, and I set it up, hit go, and there was like this moment where I was like, I knew I had made gold, right? Like I knew it, I had this like euphoric thing going on that like is pretty unexplainable. This was 10 years ago. So, I mean, there are a lot of things happened that year. Um, but as far as my art production, I realized that all of a sudden this was not empowering me anymore. Now, uh, because I look at art um, from the perspective of a sculptor or a public artist, meaning like I'm making a product, all of a sudden it's a, it's a manufacturing capability, like a manufacturing process, as opposed to a process of identity. And so now I can look at it as a complete new media work with a performance and a finished product um, and it's all a ni nice neat little art package whereas 10 years ago like it was I mean I don't let my twin brother speak for me I'm not gonna let a robot speak for me <laughs> So if you look at it as a painting and you look at the robot as a tool, um, then you need to uh, control your tools, right? That's what painters do. They have a significant understanding of their brush. Um, normally it's, an, I mean, it's intuitive how they, how they do it by hand. Um, but here you've got to be able to control the robot, which is the brush. And so like while I'm doing it, I'll whack it or like the, you can see a fence set up um, and really getting that control back from the robot, that's the challenge. And so the decisions like color and size of, size of the paintbrush and that sort of stuff are like very important decisions for me as an artist to make because it allows me to control the, the painting. If we're gonna call the finished product a painting, then we do have a successful example of a Turing test. The Turing test is to put a human in one room and a computer in another room and ask them questions until you figure out which one's the computer and which one's human. Now if you ask the Roomba to paint a landscape, you're not going to get a landscape. But this robot will create an original work of art every time we set it on the canvas and hit go. Um, and again, if you don't show somebody the robot, right, and you show them just the painting, they're going to think somebody painted that. And so like at that point, because we think of art as expression, then the dichotomy that this work exists in is, is that the robot's expression or my expression? Because it's the tool, you know, and for a while that's what I struggled with when I was in my youth was that ideal, you know, 
and under no circumstances am I willing to give up my expression to a computer. <laughs> I think they are better paintings than I can make by myself. I th and I think it's a better painting than a lot of people can make by themselves. And so if art is about human expression, then they're not, then this is a joke. But if it's art about society, like everybody's got smartphones now, right, and the expression of society, like, then why can't a robot make a work of art?